What's up today, YouTube? Little Mao here. We're welcome to day 12, and we're going to be checking out the Great Wall of China. Due to weather, we didn't go to the part of the wall that we were supposed to, so we ended up going to the Badaling Great Wall. And in order to get to the Great Wall, you have to travel about an hour outside of Beijing. And this dog was so cute, he followed us up a quarter of the way to the Great Wall. And he was just amazing. If I could, I would have taken him home. I would love to have this dog. He was so cute. And he was definitely very friendly. I wish I could have him. That would make a great trip coming home with a puppy. Look at him. Oh! Made it to the great wall and we're gonna go walk on it. It should be pretty awesome. Hopefully, we can see and get some good pictures because it was kind of misty from the rain. But hopefully, it'll be pretty cool. And here we take a free shuttle bus from the parking lot to the Great Wall and this will come in key later in the video as we didn't notice this detail. Talking about you, over there, you. One less people. One of the less people. So we take the cable car up to the summit of the Great Wall and as you can see it is very misty and cloudy but it is amazing from up here. It is really really cool and I definitely had a lot of fun. We made it to the Great Wall. Look at how steep this really is. Looks like a fucking roller coaster. I don't know if you can really see. Dude, it's like a 45 degree angle. Yeah. At least it's not slippery. Yeah. It's a surprise. It's very. Maybe coming up not slippery, but going down. <laughs> Made it to some stairs. It's still just as steep. Here's another view. Yeah. Too bad it's so cloudy, you can't really see oh, much. Just to tell you how steep people walking down. This is the first little building areas, garrisons, on the wall. Really, really cool. Too bad we can't see anything. It's pretty cool that this is the only man-made structure you can see from space. That's really, really cool. I love it. It's not very good for photos today. With all the mist. So in the past, when people died, they used to bury them right under the wall. That way, they had no space for them when they died working on the wall or in battle. Oh, it's pretty cool. People etch their own names into the wall. Also, look how deep these steps are. Onto almost my knee. Oh, 
finally the mess is starting to clear up and we can see. Wow. And look at that. Definitely glad that the clouds cleared up and we can actually see the Great Wall. So I was a bit disappointed before, but look at this. This is wall is so amazing. This is what we need from Mexico. China has a wall. Virtually no Mexicans. Oh, take the sliding cable cars down, so this should be pretty fun. It looks like a giant slide, so we're going to take that down. Should be pretty cool. We're ready for the cable car. This is exciting. Oh,
And we made it to the bottom. We're just waiting to queue in and then offload. So this is really cool. Wish it went a little bit faster, but 100. Uh, it's like $15 to go down here. Well, we're only here once, so we gotta do it. And we gotta do it for the views. So, you know, we're always happy to do it for the Love Now channel. Can't wait for Tiananmen Square. That's gonna be awesome. And after we got done from the cable car, we did end up getting lost. We were trying to find our way back to the free shuttle bus. We did get on a bus because we saw one of our friends on it, and then they asked for money. That's when we noticed we were on the wrong bus. Our friend, however, took the bus all the way back to Beijing by himself. So we were a little bit worried about him, but he made it back all right, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> so we made it to our last and final hotel here in Beijing. This is probably the biggest room that we've got so far. Uh, it's not quite as nice as you can see from the wall, but it looks decent enough. Um, you know, definitely better than the last Kung Fu Hustle hostel we were at. And a lot larger than the Chengdu Hotel. So we're gonna go show you around here. We got the big ass mirror right here, you know what I'm saying? So you can check yourself out in the mirror. And then this looks pretty cool, I haven't been in here. Woo! The, sh the bathroom looks really nice. I like how it's raised up. And you got this nice glass shower, we're gonna figure that out later. You got a regular toilet, thank God for a regular toilet. And then you got all your toiletries. So that's our third, our fifth hotel and fifth and final hotel so yeah pretty cool pretty cool so we were gonna go to Tiananmen Square but we can't because uh, we sold out of the tickets so we're going to go to the Temple of Heaven Park we're gonna check that out hopefully that'll be cool next time we're in Beijing we'll definitely have to do a Tiananmen Square kind of disappointed we couldn't see that but the Great Wall we had to see that as well so we'll be back, we'll be back. And by the time we got to the Temple of Heaven, the Temple of Heaven was actually closed. So we were only able to walk around the park. We didn't really get to see much in Beijing. All we got to see was the Temple of Heaven Park, not the actual temple. We did get to see the Bada Leng Great Wall, so that made up for the trip. But we weren't able to see Tiananmen Square, so we will have to come back. We did, however, get to see our friend Marquise, who is teaching English here in Beijing. So it was pretty cool to get to see my New York City friend here. This restaurant has Mao plates uh, and bowls, cups. So do you need some chopsticks? And now day 13, our last and final day here in China, and we're taking the taxi at 5 in the morning to catch our, I think it was 7 a.m. flight. So we're here just exploring Beijing before we gotta go back. We didn't really get to see much else, so Beijing is top on our list for our next time to China. So we're on the plane back to uh, America, back to New Jersey. Gotta figure out how to get back from New Jersey, but it should be too hard. We just take the bus, whatever. Um, but China was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend it. It was so, so much fun. Um, I can't wait to come back next time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We didn't get to do everything we wanted, but we got to see most of the stuff, so I'm really, really happy. It was so much fun. So if you're ever thinking of going to China, definitely recommend it. Alright, we'll see you when we hit the ground.